Hey, what's up guys? It's Magic Addicts 2 here, and uh, I apologize that I have not made a video in a couple weeks. I've been kind of busy and just really haven't gotten a chance to make any videos, but I'm back with a new deck review for you guys. This is the Fulton's Chinatown deck uh, from danadave.com. Let's get into the review. We'll talk about the box first. Just ignore the, uh, the signatures right here. Uh, these are signed by Dan and Dave. Um, so the box is beautiful. We've got gold foil on the box, which you can see shines really, really nicely. And all everything that is on the box has that gold foil. So it's a really unique box that stands out a lot. Um, so up here, we've got Fulton's in that same writing that we saw on the Fulton's Click Joint deck. Uh, it says Chinatown playing cards. Then we have a dragon right here because this deck was made to commemorate the Chinese New Year and this past Chinese New Year was the year of the dragon. Um, and we've got a nice Chinese style design around the outside here, which is very cool. Um, the back, we have the back design in that uh, that beautiful gold foil and on the side it says Fulton's Chinatown Los Angeles California the other side distributed by the D&D playing card company the bottom it says Cambric 37 so these have Cambric finish and below that it says made in the USA now we've got a Chinese symbol right here and the Chinese symbol means um, Year of the Dragon. And at the top it says Fulton's. And then on the flap right here we've got a beautiful design which goes along with the entire box. And on these little flaps you've got the same symbol that we saw on the bottom and it, it means uh, Year of the Dragon. So when we see this back, the back of the box, we see the back design and it looks really nice and shiny but then when you open up the cards, it's really not. So it's kind of disappointing. They could have definitely used um, metallic ink on the back, but they chose not to. So let's get into the deck. Um, we'll talk about what cards you get with the deck. Um, we get this card, which says Design by Brad Fulton, produced by Dan and Dave Buck, and illustrated by hand by Dan Phillips. And we have another card. This is a QR code, which you can scan with your smartphone. Um, and I scanned it and it leads to danandave.com slash Chinatown. And they said that it was going to lead to something eventually and now it has a brief description of the deck um, and I guess the story behind the idea. So you could check that out. I'll put the link to that in the description. And one thing that's interesting about the two ad cards is that the back designs are inverted. So I'll grab one of the regular cards and you'll see that on the ad cards the dragon is red and the rest is gold and on the actual card the dragon is gold and the rest is red so that's a little interesting thing that they added so here we have the two identical jokers and they are in the center it's a, a firework it looks like and it's exploding into this dragon uh, figure which is really really neat and I have the one from the clip joint deck so you can see the similar shape to it so that's very cool I really really like the Joker it's very simple but beautiful now we have the ace of spades a really nice ace of spades it is um, a dragon which is uh, sort of wrapped around a Chinese lantern and I like the selective coloring that they used how the lantern is in red and the dragon is just white and it just looks really nice so now let's take a look at the um, court cards and number cards again with the court cards and the back design they could have definitely used metallic ink 
uh, for the gold at least, but they chose not to. So we have uh, a, some just regular gold ink, and all the court cards have a similar color scheme going with the gold and orangish red. So they look very nice. It's just a recolorized um, of the standard bicycle court cards. Here's the five of diamonds. They did a little brightening of the color there, but very slightly, um, nothing really. And there's really no custom parts of the number cards. I'll grab a spades right here. So nothing different there. So that looks pretty much the same as what we're used to seeing. Now let's talk about the back design of the deck. It's a very unique, detailed back design, and like I said before, it would have looked nicer with metallic inks, but it still looks all right. Um, the only problem with it is that it's sort of hard to look at for a long period of time, and it almost takes your eyes adjusting uh, to look at it, which is kind of odd, but just the colors are very, uh, they're very strong, I guess you would say. But we have the two dragons right here, and in the middle, um, a very detailed illustration, and it's actually a D and a D, like we see on the V6 deck right here. So you've got the D and D in the center, um, and all in this area outside, right, like right here, we have um, a bunch of lines which, which kind of looks like they are um, bursting from this center D&D, &D, which is really neat. It gives it a nice effect. And on the outside, we've got that nice Chinese um, style design, which looks great and we've got a white border. So now that we've seen the design, let's get into the handling of the deck. I was really happy with the handling of this deck. Um, they said it was the same as the Fulton's clip joint, the same stock and finish. Um, we do know that the finish is cambric, like it says on the bottom of the box, but the stock on the Chinatown decks feels much um, much less stiff than the clip joint decks and it does feel a little thinner so I really like that it feels to me like bicycle 325 stock on these but not on the clip joint decks but according to Dan and Dave they are the same so I'm not exactly sure but I do like the feel of these much better um, so as you can see, they fan really well, and the front too. Um, this is a great, great deck for pressure fans because the stock is soft. You can get nice thumb fans too. So fanning ability is great. For spreads, you can get a nice spread with these, and it looks nice. Springing. Springing is really easy with the soft stock and you can dribble easily with these. So the handling is really really nice and I'm very very happy with it. So that's pretty much the review. Um, just a little info about the deck. It's great if you're a collector um, because it's a limited deck, they only printed 5,000 and um, and it was made for a special occasion. Um, the price is very high for what the deck is with faces and not, not even metallic ink. The price is $8.88 um, per deck and the reason they did that is because eight is a lucky number in China. That's the reason for that, but if they were going to make the deck that high of a price, I think they should have added something nice besides 
the foil on the box. So that is it for the review of the Fulton's Chinatown deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And thank you for watching.